Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Oshits and today we are going to be doing a try day mukbang situation. So let's get started. Okay you guys, welcome back. Um, Oshits, make sure to like and subscribe. I put out new videos every Wednesday and I do a little bit of everything, everything of the sorts. But today we are doing a mukbang try day. So if you know me personally and you followed me on Instagram, I used to do a thing called try day Thursday where every Thursday I would find a new food item that I wanted to try and try it in front of all of you guys. However, Instagram video just does not like me, so I had to stop it. But I still love trying new things. And today I went to the store, found a bunch of new fun things and I wanted to share with you guys. So I have um, five things here that I want to share with you guys. So. Let's just start right now. Um, and I'm also gonna preface that it's very random. Like there's no rhyme or reason to any of this. So let's just dive in. The first one, probably the most exciting to me, Takis. I have never had Takis before you guys. Wait, did I get the right ones? You guys, I, I don't think these are Takis. Takis stick? Shoot, you guys, I think I got the wrong ones. We're gonna try them anyways. Oh my God. They smell like dog food. No, like I'm actually not joking. Can you guys see that? Ooh, they're not bad, but I don't like the aftertaste of the lime. I wonder if, like, I think they have lime. Not too hot, but man, I'm bummed. I was so pumped. This is like the main inspiration for this video. Oh well. Okay, next item, and I am so excited for this one. I have been targeted on Instagram by Sour Stripes. Sour Stripes? Yes, Sour Stripes. So it's basically like, if you remember Airhead Extreme, those like long ones, or just these things you get at the candy store. I'll show you what they look like. Um, just like these Sour Belt things, you know? I'm sure you've all tried them. I have been targeted on them targeted by them on Instagram. And I literally almost bought candy online, which I've done before, but it's like, it's always like kind of embarrassing to buy candy online. It's always just like, uh, I don't know, it's weird. But I'm so glad I figured it out that Target sells these. So I did not have to buy them from the store online, which maybe I should have supported the store online, but if I really like it, I'll buy it more, but Sour Stripes. Let me know if you guys have also been targeted by these. I don't know what's special about these compared to regular ones, but we're about to find out. Okay, and they had rainbow, this is the blue raspberry. Would I pay online shipping for this? No. They taste, I, I feel like they're thinner than the ones like in the candy store. Maybe a little more sour. So these are fun, but don't get fooled by the Instagram, Instagram ads on these ones. Next item, we're getting into fall you guys. Apple, cider, donut, Oreos. If you know me, you know that I've tried all the Oreos, I love trying all the new flavors. Um, and of course I had to try the apple cider donut. And thank goodness we are finally realizing that apple is a better flavor for fall related items. I am so over pumpkin. Who wants to eat pumpkin? Oh, like I can't, like I cannot. So thank goodness apple's finally back. Apple cider donut, slushes, Oreos. Let's go. It smells like an apple candle. I'm trying to figure out, is this the golden? Okay, it doesn't really say. You know how on some of them they have like the gram top? I, I don't know if this is like the vanilla top or that gram more so. Sorry, you guys probably don't even know what I'm talking about. If you eat Oreos, you know what I'm talking about, but how should I eat this? Just dive right in. You get a lot of spikes. I feel like I was getting like crystallized bites in there of something. Let's try them separate now. The cookie has some spice. It almost tastes like like a spiced cookie. Very good alone. Okay, let's try the cream now. Sorry, I should have showed you. Yeah, there's like crystallized like chunks. Very heavy on the spice. But I do remember like when I first had my first pumpkin spice latte, it was just a spice latte. But very good, like with the side of like apple cider, this would be delicious. So try them, but I will say if you don't like spice, like it's heavy on the spice, I feel like. Like I don't really taste as much apple. That's my review. Very good though, fun for fall. Check it out. Next one, a little healthy, a healthy breakup maybe kind of. Evian sparkling water. 
Just found this, did not know Evian made sparkling water. There was a few flavors. This one is cucumber mint and it is plus magnesium and zinc. So it's still just sparkling water with natural flavor, but there is like magnesium sulfite, zinc sulfite, sulfate. I do know like bubbly makes um, a sparkling water with caffeine in it. I think there's even some that like help sleep. I typically don't get those cause that's not what I'm using my sparkling water for. But this one seems like it just has some extra minerals. It doesn't seem like it's like doing anything else to you, feeding your mind. So that's cool. Okay. I'm a sparkling water expert. If you haven't seen my sparkling water video, check it out. Maybe I'll link it below or link it here somewhere. Okay, let's go. Very cucumbery. Not too strong. Topo Chico and yeah, Topo Chico is probably the highest on my like strength of sparkling water. This is not close to that. It's still got a sting at the end, but not bad. Very heavy on the, I guess mint, yeah, cucumber and mint. Very refreshing though. Very good. Take, take it for what it's worth. Um, I still don't love sparkling waters that have natural flavors because I don't know what natural flavors are, even though it says natural, but so Spendoof is my favorite in case you were curious, but not bad. If you want to check it out, you know, got to try all the sparkling waters. If there is a sparkling water that you have found that's like new, let me know because I need to try all of them. Okay, there we go. Okay, and we have one last thing. I know you guys are, you know, anxious to get this over with. Just kidding, this is so fun. I like love this. I need to do more videos of this. It's just sometimes I can't get all, like a lot of products at once. Like I'll buy one product one week, one, you know what I mean? It's like getting them all together at once. But today I just had a, a gaggle of products. But last one, Simple Mills Sweet Thins Honey Cinnamon. Okay, so a lot of people that I follow have promoted Simple Mills in the past, which Simple Mills I think is just a healthier baking company um, that's came out. Only purposeful ingredients, nothing artificial ever. So I think they use a lot of other ingredient, ingredients other than typical flour. So like in here it's seed and nut flour blend, tapioca starch, coconut sugar, honey, baking soda, sea salt. So like all pretty like healthy ingredients. I do get, whenever brands come out as healthy, I do, I'm always a little cautious because I don't know like, eh, I feel like your version of healthy versus mine is sometimes different, but this one actually does seem to be fairly healthy. There is still seven grams of sugar in 12 of these things, but it's still probably a healthier option. And I like that they're using like nut flours. So, Let's try these out. I'm hoping they taste like Teddy Grahams. Probably won't. I got these at Whole Foods and I had been seeing them like on Instagram pages, but I went to my Whole Foods and they were out the first time. So this is my second time to try to snag them. Oh wow, very hard to open. Okay, smells good. Oh, they're like, see how they're kind of puffed, but it feels like hollow. Smells good though. It tastes like a graham cracker. Wait, what? You guys, made with watermelon seed flour? For light and airy? They are like light, crispy crunch. Watermelon seed flour? Okay. These are good. I don't remember how much they were, so that could depend. And honestly, they need to make these in bigger, like bigger squares for s'mores. They'd be so good. Aftertaste is a little funkier than like typical graham crackers but nothing that turns me off of them. So there you go, Simple Mills. I don't know, these might be available at like certain Targets, maybe, I guess I should have looked. I know they sell the baking mixes at Target, so Target, Whole Foods, somewhere. That wraps up my reviews for today of all my items. I'm so bummed about this one, but it's okay. Let me know if you guys have any other items you'd like me to try, and I'd be happy to. And yeah, thank you guys so much, so much for watching. I'll see you guys next Wednesday, bye.